So we can martyrs, we back baby. Took a little hiatus, but man, we back. About to get another video in. Uh, today we're installing some Acel Super Coils Performance. Performance coils on the 3.6 uh, V6 uh, Dodge Challenger. So I know I'm looking crazy, I need a haircut, man. This quarantine has been real crazy. But uh, anyway, uh, if there's any barbers, here in the Orlando Kissimmee area, hit me up, man. I need that cut back. Um, but let's get right into it. Let's get these uh, coils installed. I'll show you step by step how to do it. And also uh, put out a video of the before and after. So um, let's see what that's like. All right, so first things first, we got your coil here. This is what it looks like. Uh, pretty durable. Uh, they are yellow. Does say a cell right across the top here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, feel pretty heavy duty. So obviously there's six of them that come in the box. So just pop that right off. Some people spray those, get them, uh, you know, change them a different color, the valve colors, but I'm not into that uh, to each his own. Uh, it's kind of dirty in here. It's been a while. But um, you would have to disconnect the uh, intake from the throttle body. That's first. First things first. What a fail. Wow, right off the bat, right? Wow, man. We'll get that later. But anyway, let's get this disconnected. Just loosen it up. I'll be able to pull that right off. It's a little snug. Let's not drop any more tools. Let's pop right up here. Disconnect that. There's a little clip here. Just take that out. So yeah, airflow, mass airflow sensor. Now I am going to disconnect it from the air box just to have more space. Set that down there. All right. Now. Now you expose the first three. One, two, and three. Easiest to change. Uh, the other one is actually, I forgot what they call it, but anyway, it's valve cover, I guess. Uh, actually, this might be the valve cover. Anyway, take this off. We'll do that last, and then you just pop out the other three from the other side. But let's just get these changed. So you're going to be needing the ever elusive 10 millimeter socket for these here. All right. You don't want you putting them back. You don't want to torque them down too tight. You might break that stud off in there. I mean, you're really screwed. And I'm not a mechanic by any means, but I know that much. You just disconnect them here. Just pull them right out. Give them a smell. They don't smell burn or anything. I'm just basically replacing them because they uh, performance performance brand, and I want to see what you know what that's about. 
get a screwdriver. Anyway, got that second one out. Be sure not to cross your cables. You don't want to do that. They pretty much stay in place to where they were. But uh, be sure not to cross some cables, man. I've never done it, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to see what happens. This would be a good time for also for somebody to uh, clean that throttle body as well, too. I don't have any build up inside. I've recently done it. So, you know, that's probably the number one cause of misfire. So. It's probably the hardest one to get to right here. So finally, as you can see, I'm sweating after a bunch of little tight screws to take out. This is harder than I remember. Um, man. So basically, I'm back to the other side. That's under that cover that was sitting on top of here. So basically, there's a lot of little screws in the top here in those little holes. Man. And then you gotta take out, uh, back out the screws from here on both sides, one and two, which are actually screwed into there and there. So you have to use a, man, that was definitely harder than I thought. You have to use a four millimeter socket to back those out. And there's also one on a throttle body well, I already got it out, but there's one on the side of the throttle body as well. So I'm gonna change these out. You've seen how I did the first three. Second three, no different uh, besides getting to them. And, uh, you know, we'll go for a test drive when I'm done and buttoned up. And, uh, you know, we'll do a review on the difference. So I'll see you guys then. If there's any questions you got, uh, you know, as far as what you don't see in the video leave it in the comments leave it in the comments i'll definitely get to it or i might send you a piece of the video that you're asking about you know maybe i recorded it um that's not shown i'll send it to you so uh comment like subscribe share uh and basically i'll see you guys when it's time to test drive this bad boy That exhaust sounds like man it's been a while since i gave y'all a clip of that see what that's like then on the test drive i'm gonna take my son to pick up a hoop from uh a basketball hoop from walmart with a basketball you know corona virus is definitely appreciate my family more and do more things at home so that's that's what we're gonna do the test run but for now let's get a little exhaust clip Yeah. Mm -hmm.
guys like that um i don't know what it sounds like on camera but uh i'm gonna go get showered up man and we'll get you guys a test run and uh i'll see you then all right y'all so we back for the test drive like i said we was gonna do that uh when we gonna get my son too so let's see if it makes a difference with a response or something let's see right now i'm at 50 miles an hour uh pretty much in second gear uh, Dodge Challenger has, well Dodge pretty much has a long second gear anyway, so it's better to start off in second. Let's see what a 60 to 100 feels like on, on the coil. Let me just get around this bend. I'll let you know. So right now we're at 55. get you a set man if you like what you you know do your research but go out and get you a set man they're pretty cool thanks again to levy smith man if you're watching this i appreciate you you're my parts connect man you always come through i guess it pays uh owning a mopar being in you know mopar brotherhood uh the community is strong thanks again uh and uh shout out to the firm man you guys know who you are e vapors uh kj uh daily grind uh, 1k car reviews uh slides all you guys man shout out to y'all guys 